Evantech here, welcome back to yet another video for Subnautica Below Zero. Oh come on, Sea Monkey quit it. Has this ever happened to you guys? Well, now I have to chase him and grab my Sea Glide from his hands. Oh, and it's also taunting me right now. That's not nice. Alright, you can give it back now. I will show you how to make use of the Sea Monkey's tendency to grab things. First off, we need to complete one of the story objectives to make the sea monkeys like you. And I will show you now just how to do it. First of all, our first reference point will be the start location of the game. You can find the coordinates on the screen right now. Let's jump into our sea truck. What we want to do is point ourselves to the right of this nearest iceberg, so about south. If you have a compass, it's about two clicks to the west of south. And as you can see, I have set up a beacon right where we need to go so you know this is a straight line towards that area make sure to subscribe so the sea monkeys will stop stealing your stuff eventually you will enter the twisty bridges biome this is where we need to start going deeper so make sure to follow along if you don't have a vehicle yet, you can use these oxygen plants along the way. If you found this rock that's in front of me, you are in the right spot. From this point, you will want to start a much steeper descent. This is another significant spot, so if you found this opening right over here, you are in the right spot. Now, right over here, you will find this flashing pillar. What you want to do now is go slightly to the right and follow along. And as you can see, there are more of these flashing pillars. You will want to follow them inside the cave. Now, here we have one of the cave entrances to this area. I wouldn't be too concerned about oxygen in this area since there are so many oxygen plants around this cave. My goal here is to show you how to reach this entrance without spoiling any of the story. Now all you have to do is enter this area and complete the task at hand. Now. After you completed that task, all the sea monkeys on this planet will start to like you and try to help you out. Head on over to the bow portion of the Mercury 2 shipwreck where you will find the alien containment unit. And to get in here, you will need a laser cutter. Now you might be asking why are we doing this? Well, if you want a whole squad of sea monkeys hanging out by your base, no matter where you build your base, then you will need to hatch them. And if you want to hatch and reproduce sea monkeys, we will need the alien containment unit. Just as a reference, here's the oxygen plant. And if we move a little bit to the right, go down on the floor below it, we will find the alien containment unit. Make sure to scan this in, you will get the blueprint straight away. New blueprint synthesized. Next up, we are back at the starting location of the game and now we are going to look for the sea monkey eggs. What we need to do is find the kelp forests which contain the sea monkey nests. Actually, the kelp forests are not the only place where you can find sea monkey nests. You can also find them in the lily pad biome in the caves below it. Here we have a kelp forest right in front of us and we're going to enter it and look at the sea bottom. What we're looking to find is these halls which lead to underground cave systems. However, I did explore this area beforehand and none of the caves in this tunnel system contained any eggs. So we are going to go further in and there will be another cave system which will definitely contain the sea monkey egg. Right, and let's grab this oxygen plant so you can use all of the oxygen plants inside this cave system which is kind of convenient. 
So as you can see, not all the nests have the eggs in them, but you can use the nest to find some blueprints. For example, that one had a mobile vehicle bay fragment. So this just shows that sometimes it's harder to find the sea monkey eggs and it's understandable since they don't actually have a high chance of spawning. So in my case, it was the fifth sea monkey nest that I have to look through in order to find the sea monkey egg. And as you can see, the egg will spawn in one of the three sockets inside this nest. Pick it up and I recommend that you get two of them so you can breed the sea monkeys and have more of these eggs. Once you find your two sea monkey nests, I recommend that you build a base, any base will do, but you will need a multi-purpose room or a large room, and inside of it, you will place an alien containment unit. Okay, so here we have the one sea monkey egg I found, and also some sea monkey babies. Just place two of them in each of the alien containment units. So I set the in-game time to super fast and as you can see, the sea monkeys will spawn an egg every once in a while. Alright, so the tank filled up really quickly. Let's just pick up some sea monkeys from this alien containment unit. We are going to release them in the wild. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let's swim away a little bit from our base and release these six sea monkeys over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now, all the wild and tamed sea monkeys will try to bring you stuff. For example, this one brought me copper. Obviously, they will bring you some titanium as well. Here is another location where I released some sea monkeys and this one brought me quartz. And in case you are wondering what happens if you don't accept the gift, then here's his reaction. Alright there little buddy, I'm just gonna take the titanium, I'm sorry. If you don't want the sea monkey to be sad, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it. This is Avantex signing off, and I'll see you below zero. Save me.